to tell from the outside, but on the inside, Maddox Hall is full of state-of-the-art equipment, especially in our lecture halls. So you might have seen lecture halls at other pharmacy schools, but they ain't got nothing on ours. Let me show you now. Welcome to Harris Teeter Lecture Hall, one of three lecture halls that we have here in Maddox. I have state-of-the-art equipment all around me. We have two 1080p flat screen projectors, and as you can see, we have tons of stadium seating. Now that you've seen Harris Teeter Lecture Hall, let me show you the other one, Ed Herring, across the hall. So welcome to Ed Herring Lecture Hall. If you guys are wondering why it looks so familiar in here, then I should probably clue you into a little secret. Both of our lecture halls here at Campbell are mirror images, or as we like to say in pharmacy school, anatomers. As an incoming pharmacy student, it can be really difficult to sit in a lecture hall with all this space. That's why for the P1s, we have their very own lecture hall. and it's very important to mix vigorously. Size does matter. We have some brand new state-of-the-art equipment, such as this tablet maker. Oops, there's a little dirt on there. And you just kind of, you know, take this handle in. Well, you get the point. I bet you're wondering what's in the compounding fridge. Let me show you. Looks like we have some gelatin for those jello fans. Some suppositories that are being molded as we speak. And hey, looks like I left my onion in there from last week. pleased that uh, Campbell University was the first school of pharmacy in North Carolina to offer the doctor pharmacy degree. What I really love about Campbell is the fact that it's small and you really get to know people a lot better, both the students, the other faculty. I think one of the most special things about Campbell is that you're involved with the students both in the classroom and, it doesn't, and the learning doesn't just stop in the classroom. Students have the opportunity to have a leadership role in a large number of 
professional organizations. It's just in the School of Pharmacy, there's different pharmacy organizations as well as the different professional fraternities. The Kappa Epsilon is one of the professional pharmaceutical fraternities here at Campbell University. We focus on the issues that deal uh, primarily with women's health, like breast cancer awareness and ovarian cancer and things of that sort. It's PDC and it's Vita. It's one of the uh, fraternities here at Campbell. Um, it was Founded in 1883 at the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor. PDC promotes leadership and pharmacy. Um, every other year we have a leadership development seminar and it's located anywhere you know, in the U.S. Kappa Psi is the oldest and largest pharmaceutical fraternity. The brothers at our chapter are involved in such events as volunteering at the local nursing home. And hardcore sports like dodgeball. Participating in roadside cleanups. And kickball. We actually have a pretty good diversity of activities that we do. We participate in the JDRF Easter egg hunt, which is juvenile diabetes research. And Final Psi is a huge supporter of St. Jude's Children Research, so we do the letter writing campaigns yearly. Well, we had a faculty appreciation lunch just recently where we provided soups and chilies to our professors just to show how much we care about all the work that they do for us. And actually, um, Kappa Psi has our own softball team we play yearly. It's quite competitive and very fun. PDC is a great organization, just like any other organization on um, the KE and Kappa Psi. Each has their own strengths. Find where you fit in, you know, your friends may go with one end, but you may feel like you fit in with another crowd. The first off on big program in the state of North Carolina, and that likewise was in 1986. And it wasn't until 2000 that the American Association of Colleges and Pharmacy endorsed the off on big program. So uh, they were about 14 years ahead of our time. And I think that's certainly uh, commendable.